I don't know how y'all doing. It's going to be about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I found out that Tina Turner, Billy Preston, and Gil Scott Heron just got inducted in. And I have a bone to pick with that. Tina Turner should have been in like 25 years ago as a solo artist. I mean, what the heck are they? Who are they kidding? She's long overdue to have been in years ago. Billy Preston, come on now. All the session works are just his session works with Ray Charles, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and an incredible solo career as a session man who played with a who's who. He's almost like the Forrest Gump of session musicians. Are you kidding me? And Gil Scott Heron, who's the godfather of hip hop, Revolution Will Not Be Televised 50 years old, which you can make the case that the Revolution Will Not tele Be Televised can stand alongside Marvin Gaye's What's Going On as a social pro-Black Lives Matter theme song and a song that has resonated and speaks dear, a half a century. So why just now? And some people will say, well, you know, that they, they can't answer it. Black artists do not get the same treatment. Shaka Khan still ain't got inducted. Rick James ain't got inducted. LL Cool J ain't inducted. And I say that because they got Jay-Z in there. But he's their money man. He's their money kid. You know. It's politics involved. And it ain't got much to do with how great you are. That's always subjective and debatable. And they put something corny like the Go-Go's in. Who were a cute female group that could play. But are you kidding me? And why did Carol King have to wait so long? But I'm just mainly concentrating on these three. Tina Turner, who's been considered the queen of rock and roll, who inspired Mick Jagger and his dance moves and Bowie and a whole lot of them. Why just now? You know. Billy Preston, why just now? Impact galore. One of the most important organ players ever. Gil Sky Heron, why just now? Like, why are they so late with these acts? Because bottom line is this. If you're Hall of Famer, you're Hall of Famer. And if you're not, you're not. I look at it like music, like I look at it sports, like I look at it in movie actors and actresses. If you are legit, there should not be no argument. But if you're not, then you're really not, you know. So I don't understand why they so late letting them in. But anyway, give me your thoughts and takes about why it took so long Tina Turner, Gil Scott Heron, and Billy Preston to just get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Why they always do this to black artists? Why the long pause? And why there are other? And how come people like a Barry White, like a Shaka Khan, like a Rick James are not in? And Lionel Richie too. As a member of the Commodores and Solo. That doesn't make any sense. Please hit the like, subscribe, and welcome thoughts and comments. Please feel free to tell me who else you think should be in the Rock and Hall of Fame or why they so late. And I welcome thoughts and comments. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And uh, there's always a double standard. And it makes no sense. I'm out.